welcome to the mat and new moon blessings to you all. If you are brand new here to my channel, Namaste. My name is Bethany, I am the Yogi Witch. This is lovely little Luna, the resident Yogi Dog. And today, apparently, we are going to be guiding you through a really gorgeous new moon stretch. So it's the ideal practice to release any built up tensions in both the physical body and the spiritual body and start to invite in some peace and some space as we are moving slowly into the darker months. So we're really starting to bring in that kind of stillness in our practice using the heat of the summer to warm the bodies as we settle ourselves into some gorgeous poses. So you don't necessarily need any props today, but you can grab anything that you'd like to make your practice more supportive or comfortable. And if you want to bring in that little witchy element, you can grab yourself some incense, sage, journals, anything. It is your practice. And then begin to come to lie all the way flat on your back as I just light my incense for the practice. As you come to relax on the back, you're gonna reach the arms up and overhead, taking a beautiful full body stretch. As you inhale, and then on your exhale, you're gonna relax the arms and relax the legs. We're gonna bring our hands into the relaxed mudra. So you're interlocking the fingers, bringing the thumbs to touch and just relax the elbows down. So the hands are resting to the belly, once again opening up our practice opening up the circle connecting with souls from around the world with one more deep breath in one more slow breath out and as we're looking to create space today we're looking to create serenity Begin to gently guide your breath, so exhales are longer than your inhales. So with every exhale, you feel the body relax just that little bit more. The muscles kind of soften here. Those intrusive thoughts that we all have start to quieten down like we're turning down the volume. Bring yourselves into the present moment. You lay loops. The space where true happiness exists. And as I said, in today's practice, my loves, we're really going to find the stretch, create the space, create the serenity. Harnessing the energies of Mother Moon above and dedicating time in our day to a little bit of self-love. So as always in our practice together, I encourage you here to invite in an intention for the practice ahead. No right or wrong answers here, just set in the intention in your mind and then seal it with your breath. As all together we inhale and we exhale. 
On your next inhale, all you're going to do is keeping the hands in relaxation mood. You're going to lift the arms up like you're really kind of creating a ball of energy here. Bend into the knees and hug the knees to the chest, wrapping your arms around the legs, hands staying in that relaxation mudra. Doesn't matter if it was tight, you can get the knees to the chest, that's all good. Just start to find a gentle rock from side to side. So here you'll start to notice any sensations going on in the physical body, any aches, any kind of stiffness or tenderness. And then going deeper, release that relaxation mudra, hug the knees even closer, lifting the shoulders, lifting the head, squeezing the knees close, giving yourself that love for coming to the practice today. Before relaxing, back down, feet to the earth, and we're gonna come in to our figure of four. So all you're gonna do is take the outside of the right ankle, just below the left knee. Now you're pressing that knee away, and starting to open up the hip flexors. Option one, stay here, arms by your side, or relaxing to the stomach, or if you have it in your practice, you can thread the hands through, take hold of the left thigh. All together, roll the shoulder blades away from the ear, send them back down to the spine as you draw legs closer to you. Finding that hip space. If you're a really big fan of the stretch and you feel like you have some space to explore, you can take the hands to the outside of the left leg. So you're basically grabbing the shin. Five more breaths. Taking once more a deep breath in through the nose. And a slow breath out. From here, we're gonna move into some gorgeous twists. You're gonna relax the left foot down. Bring those arms into a T-shape or just by your side. I'm gonna to come to an open twist. You're simply gonna allow the legs to fall all the way over to the right hand side. You release the left foot under and take your gaze to the left. So the knees won't reach the floor. You don't have to press them down. Just let them kind of float where they want to. As long as you're not feeling any sharp sensations into the knees, I invite you to stay here. 10 breaths. Keep sending your pranayama to the base of the belly. Inhale. Exhale, my loves. All we're going to do is bring knees and the gaze to the center before exhaling to close that twist off. So wrapping that right leg around the left, just a one hook this time. You're going to allow the knees to fall over to the left hand side and start to pull the right shoulder down. If you want to intensify, left hand to the knees, press it down a little bit more. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Breath out, my love. So we're going to untangle the legs. And then from here, we're going to immediately move into a corkscrew twist to both sides. So 
You're gonna inhale to lift the legs up, so you're pointing through the toes, squeezing the legs together. Flip the palms to the sky. Exhale, we tap right knees to the right hand side and lift the feet as high as they wanna go. Now they might flow up a centimeter or two, they might prefer to stay down. Just start to engage the core here, pull the left shoulder down, a really gorgeous kind of detoxifying twist for the belly. Inhale, Mani Pura starts to ignite as we bring knees through center. Exhale, tap your knees over to the left hand side and lift the feet up. Beautiful. Inhale, move back into the center and then immediately fan and figure a four with the left leg. So outside of the left ankle, float just below the right knee. Option, stay here. Option to thread the hands through, taking hold of the right thigh. Or if you know you have some space to play with, you can take hold of that shin. All together, inhaling to roll shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, send them back down to the spine. Long line of chakras of chi of our magic. 10 breaths. Take a deep breath in, loves. Breath out, we release right foot to the mat, arms to that T-shape, and let's open the twist. Legs move full over to the left-hand side. Gaze floats to the right. We float through center and, and inhale, exhale, find the one hook and allow the knees to fall over to the right hand side, gaze left. Maybe that right hand presses the knees down as you start to find length through the left arm. Inhale, back to the center, corkscrew twist. Hug the knees to the chest, point those toes through. And then this time we're gonna tap the left side first. So tap the left side, lift the feet up, holding for three, holding two. Beautiful, one, move through center. Tap the right side, lift the toes up for three, holding two and one coming back into the center big toes come to touch i'm going to take hold of the knees what we're going to do is start to open up the hips by inhaling squeeze the knees to the chest exhaling separating the knees you're going to draw a beautiful little moon here and then hug the knees back in exhale to open up inhale to hug and close taking it in one direction And then we move and take it in the other for three, for two, and for one. Inhale, extend the legs to the sky, cross the ankles, hands underneath the knees. On your exhale, we're going to take a few rocks forwards and backwards, starting to wake up the spine. Before coming on to the sit bone, crossing the ankles here and what we're going to do is start to take some mini sun salutations so on your inhale you're going to reach those arms nice and high to the sky drop the gaze back coming into a mini back bend so bring your hands to prayer find length inhale exhale open the mouth and sigh it out as you relax the arms down 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take it one more time. We inhale. And we exhale. Sliding the hands to the knees. We're going to begin to draw some circles with the spine. So inhale to arch the spine as you roll it over the knees. Exhale. Tuck tailbone under chin to chest as you send it back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Move, take it in the other direction. For two, and Full one, beautiful. Bring the body back into the center from here. We're gonna bring the feet flat to the mat and lean back onto those hands. Coming into some really gorgeous figure of four stretch and then an eagle seal, what a name. You're gonna take the outside of the left ankle just, I can't even speak. You're gonna take the outside of the left ankle just below the right knee and just start to find some movement from side to side. And seeing how far you can go with these twists. And then when you're ready from here, if it feels comfortable to you, remembering you can untangle the legs at any point, you can allow the legs to fall all the way over to the left hand side and lift the chest up. From here, we're gonna pivot the chest towards the back of the mat. Coming onto those fingertips as you inhale, exhale, bend the elbows and roll down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, take it once more. We inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift all the way up. Bring the chest back through center. And then this time, we're gonna allow the legs to fall all the way over to the right hand side. Walking your chest around to frame the mat and face towards the back of the mat. Remembering at any point you can untangle the legs. Inhale, find lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale to roll the body up. Working with the hands, we're going to move the chest back into the center and tangle the legs. Outside of right ankle, just below the left knee. Leaning back as you take your wiggles from side to side. Remembering, with this movement, at any point you can untangle the legs, it is quite a stretch for that lumbar spine. So when you're ready from here, you're gonna allow the knees to fall all the way over to the right hand side and bring your gaze to the back of the mat. Take a deep breath in, out as you bend the elbows, relax down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, loves. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift up. We're gonna gently flip the hands around, move the legs, and then take that stretch to the other side. So remember, you can untangle, which I'm gonna to do to this side, just because my twist is not so good on that side. From here, you're gonna inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And lower. One more time, we're gonna to inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Moving the body back into the center, untangle the legs, and take some windscreen wiper movements from side to side. Coming into a little bit of a neck release, loves. We're gonna come onto the sit bones, feet are flat, and all we're gonna do is lean back and allow the knees to fall over to the left hand side, feet to the right. So coming into our gorgeous sage twist. You're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, Breath out, twist the body to the right hand side, keeping that spine lovely and long. Bring in a neck release, drop left ear down to the left shoulder. Inhale. 
inhale as we lift the head untangle the arms as you lean back and then simply take this to the other side so knees fall to the right hand side feet to the left inhale find length exhale twist to the left hand side keep that spine long If you want to bring in that neck release, inhale length, exhale, right ear floats down to the right shoulder. Inhale, head to the centre, and tangle the arms, and simply from here, we bring the legs to the centre, bottom of the feet to touch and come to meet me in Baddha butterfly legs. So take hold, the feet sliding the heels closer to you. Roll the shoulder blades away from the ears as you inhale, find length. Exhale, start to forward fold. You can take your gaze to the toes. You can keep the gaze lifted. Just close the eyes really gorgeous pose to connect with the chakras, to realign them, to connect with our magic. Sit bones to the earth, crown chakra to the heavens, heart sitting here on earth in the present moment. And more breaths. Taking one more deep breath in through the nose. Slow breath out. Leaning back a little bit. We're gently gonna bring the knees to touch and immediately wrap your arms around the legs, coming into angel pose. into the spine, taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose like you're filling up the back body. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the gaze. Exhale to roll the body up cross the ankles and come to meet me in a comfortable seat position. Interlock the fingers, thumbs to touch in that relaxation mood or you can just relax to the lap. Sit bones to the earth, roll shoulders away from the ears and find length. We've done a lot of twists today, a lot of releasing, so maybe you feel a little bit of sensations going on in the belly in those hips. Tuning in to those sensations, recognizing how they ebb and flow. They change with every second that passes. And 
then begin to smile to yourself here. Feeling that lightness in the heart and the soul. Feeling that connection to the energies of Mother Moon above, to the energies of those in this online coven. And feel an overwhelming sense of gratitude wash over you like rainfall for having taken the time today to take care of you and find magic through movement. Now to seal today's practice, we're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. On your breath out, untangle the hands to pray, and then bow low. Closing our practice, this circle, as always, with a bow of gratitude, filled with love and blessings to you for coming to the mat, to those who flowed with you, and from me to you, thanking you for allowing me to guide you through today's new moon stretch. I really hope you feel reset, restored, and very relaxed in this moment. It was truly an honor to flow with you today, and I truly thank you for allowing me into your yoga journey. If you enjoy this practice, I would really appreciate any kind of support for my little channel by my be liking, commenting, or even a cheeky subscribe. And if you are looking to explore your journey, both on the mat and off a little bit further, then I really encourage you to follow the link in the description box below to my exclusive membership area, MTM, Magic Through Movement. This is a space that is inclusive and kind and focuses on the spiritual relationship between yoga and witchcraft and the journey we take on the mat and beyond. Each week, you get access to an exclusive one hour flow, to challenges, to a private Facebook page, to rituals, to all good things. So you can find out more about the MTM memberships in the description box below. But it was a pleasure to join you here today and I really wish you a beautiful, blessed, and peaceful new moon. Namaste, witches. Mm -hmm.